NVIDIA, the world's most valuable company, coming out with its earnings and a key test, of course, when you want to think about the demand for AI. And what they're projecting for the current quarter is sales of 54 billion US dollars, essentially in line with the estimates, but that is sales growth that has decelerated. We are not seeing quite the rapid red hot demand for AI that we once were, certainly back in 2024. The demand is still there, but it's certainly slowed from a very high level. The CEO, Jensen Huang, says he still sees insatiable demand for his AI chips, and he's predicting this could be a market with a valuation potentially of around $4 trillion just by the end of this decade. A key question is what happens to China? for this company, where they used to get a little over 10% of their revenues. Geopolitics has certainly been an overhang and question marks to the point where Nvidia isn't even able to produce a forecast for sales into the Chinese market for the current quarter. As Jensen Wong says, the opportunity in China could be worth about 50 billion US dollars. So key questions for Nvidia going forward, longer term, does that demand for AI chips for these data centers continue at the same kind of clip? How much does competition start to chip away at Nvidia, which has about 90% market share when it comes to these AI accelerators? To what extent does China as a market close down or open up for Nvidia? And what happens to supply chains as well? So there are as many questions as there are answers in this earnings set, but it's a reminder that the demand around AI remains, but it has come off from those loftier levels that we had once seen.